woman once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. Looks like he's got Boston big beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Yeah, sir, that is one ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with the munchkin terrorist in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy! I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, Sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, Lynn Pastrami, hairspray, tail tail. Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sir, that's what you'd like to believe. Have you actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can help us now. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So what do you want to buy? What have you got? Well, I still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that! It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. 10,000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. 
Or one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You gotta bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. How do you get out of that cage anyway? That's for me to know and you never to find out. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You'd been robbed as many times as I have, you'd do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. What were we talking about? We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Well, it is all special. And we are running dangerously low. A cheese sign on an empty table. The tantalizing promise of cheese, crushed by cruel reality. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. What do we have here? Organ trader, self-loading weekly. Oh, let me see that. No thanks, I brought my lunch today. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Grady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel-coated sugar logs. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? 
The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh yeah, we've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, To Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> Sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Sludgies. With 100% all-natural sludge. This week's flavor? Wheatgrass and meatloaf. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT land here. I'll do it. Uh-oh! Time out for number one! Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. What? Oh! Ooh. Did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention shoppers! The cheese ain't free! 
Sam, are you dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. Ooh, fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one! If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Ooh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it! What the? Time out for number one! We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... I don't want to wake him up. <laughs> 